So welcome to Tracy's Kitchen again people. So we are going to cook curry mutton. So we are going to season the curry mutton from overnight for the Sunday dinner. So I have already seasoning, put a little bit of seasoning on it already. But I'm going to show you the finishing touch. So first I wash my meat with vinegar. Here's my bottle of vinegar and I also wash it with some lemon juice. Just to make sure it's very clean and it tastes extremely good when you're finished cooking it so we already have black pepper and salt here so we are going to finish seasoning now with some body complete maggi all purpose season up and we're also going to use some chicken season on it so we're going to finish seasoning now so you're going to pour a little seasoning on it so you know this is curry goat right so you have to pour curry on it so we're going to pour a lot of curry on it so it can the season can soak in and combine greatly together so by we're ready to cook in the morning it will taste amazing so now we're going to pour the curry we need lots of curry here people lots of curry um, four, four tablespoons now we are going to mix it combine all the seasons together properly Make sure you mix it properly, you want all the season to get into the meat. So we are going to also add some garlic and scallion thyme to the season. So it soak into the meat and give it a great flavor. Make sure you wash before you add to your meat. You need everything to be clean. Now we are going to add the garlic. So you're gonna give that Stir. Stir it up. Nicely. So now you're going to put this in the refrigerator and let it soak for the next day. Overnight and the next day. Done. Now we're going to add the veggies to the mutton. It has been here simmering down for five minutes. So as I already told you, this is onion, sweet pepper, carrot, and I and we also have scallion and thyme and garlic in there already. So now we are going to pour water. I'm going to give it a little stir. Make sure that everything combined together. I'm gonna pour a little bit more water in. Now you're going to close the pressure cooker and let it sit and pressure so your meat is completely soft and falling off the bone. So here you go, as I said, you already have a piece here, it's already cooked. Now we're going to seed it. We're going to add two cups of garlic, scallion. 
now here we go this is my blend coconut i don't use the coconut from the tin or the package i use dry coconut it's all natural and make the rice and peas taste much better so this is blend coconut so we are going to now pour it out in a strainer like this into the rice and peas There you go, now we're going to pour. I'm going to show you how it looks coming out. So we're pouring it. Pouring. It's good. Make sure your hands are clean. Now we are going to squeeze. Get all the cream. Now. Here and come to a boil, then we're gonna add the rice to the pot. It's the rice and peas, so we have added the rice to the pot. Yes, this is how it looks. So, when it's finished cooking, I will show you the finishing touch of how it dry down and how shelly the rice will be. Yes, curry goat is finished. Look, very soft, falling apart. Very soft. And How long did I cook for? It was cooking for around 35 minutes. All right. Now this is the rice and peas. It's finished and this is how it looks. A lot of peas, very shelly. As you can see, we also have garlic inside of the rice and peas. Same way. So now we are going to plate it and I'll show you the finishing touch. Okay, so this is how I plate it. So this is the curry mutton, rice and peas, coleslaw and some cucumber. Cucumber. And this is fish, you know, rice and peas, coleslaw and cucumber. So subscribe, like and comment. Let me know what you guys think share the video. about my meals. Share the video. Trissy Kitchen. Welcome to Trissy's Kitchen. Thank you for watching. Mm.